Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome to Ecom Club live training. So let me know if you guys can see me, can you hear me? Can you see all the things clearly? So that make sure that live right now is streaming really, really good, it's stable. So today is live streaming. That means this is not a recorded video. That means we want you guys interaction. I want you guys interaction. So you can see me, type yes or type 77 in the comment box. All right, so I know you guys are here because today will be really, really interactive. Okay, last few days, the okay, last few days, I got a lot, not a lot, I mean, basically every single day, I have a lot of people sending me a uh, private message. Okay, they send me a private message in terms of, hey, Yik, uh, my Facebook ad has issues. I follow your strategy, the 1103, the 233, or the other stuff like CBO 30 or other things that we shared before. And then they keep saying, oh, I got no results. What should I do? Uh, uh, Facebook is telling me to do this. I follow this. I got no conversion, but I can't get banned, right? Every single day, I have tons and tons of message uh, we call, uh, I call, like related to Facebook ad, right? So before I go through what are those official answer, just to tell you guys, uh, personally, I am spending like around $1 million per year on our Facebook ad, which is on our store, okay? In total, I think we have spent like nearly $4 million. I think it's actually more than $4 million USD personally, okay? Actually myself, run the ad. Okay, but right now we already outsource it. We hire my, my team and let my team run the ad. So for me, I know the whole system with $4 million I spent. So if you're here, listening to me, okay, I want you guys to really, really listening to me. Okay, I don't want you to have some doubt or some whatever things to do. I listen to this guy. I'm just telling you my experience that what I have done after spending millions on that. And you guys may have just spent like a $100 or a few thousand dollars, and then you said like an expert. I don't care, I don't know who you are. Even you just stand back like, I don't know, even you just spent, even you have spent a hundred thousand dollars, I don't care. A hundred thousand dollars on Facebook is a very, very tiny number. Facebook is making millions per day, more than millions per day, okay? And you are just spending a few thousand dollars per day and you claiming yourself as expert, you do not see a long game here in Facebook ad. So today I will tell you my, okay, my truly, truly uh i would say system or strategy with you guys that i want you guys to follow okay i want you to save the money a lot of people that just follow what other people are talking about on youtube on a photo post or on an article or even the facebook marketing expert tell you to do this and that and then you follow and at the end you got no result but you keep saying oh i listen to that guy that guy is so good right what happened you are not learning you are following. When you are following, then what's happened? When you're following next other people, that means you always need to ask for the next step. That means you cannot learn. You cannot initiate action. You are always waiting for the next step. So my system is really, really simple. My system is want you guys to develop your own strategy based on the simple structure that I'm giving you. And you're based on that so that you know what is the next step for every part or every campaign, every asset you launch. And this is the best way for you to learn. Okay, unlike, hey, what's next? What's next? Hey, Jake, help me, help me. I cannot help you forever, right? What if I'm not here? Okay, so you learn my, learn 30% of my system. Okay, and you, you, you schedule it. And then I cannot reply you for one week because I was on holiday. Okay, because like thousands of people messaging me. Then you are like, oh, Jake, I'm still spending money. I'm still waiting for a reply. Oh, it's one hundred dollar now. It's four hundred dollar. It's five thousand dollar now. I spent one thousand dollar on this and no no sale. What should I do? Yeah, should I pause it? See, that's the problem. A lot of people when they try to learn something, they just follow step one and then they ignore the other ninety nine step and then they think they already win the game. Not like that. The same. You go to cook, right? You need to learn how to use the knife. You need to know how to open the the, the, the stove. You need to know how to cut the apple or everything. You need to step by step, right? At the end, you need how to clean the dishes as well. It's a whole system, not like just, oh, put $5 there, expect something to happen. Right, so today, today, the next 30 minutes, hopefully I can finish it in the next 30 minutes because I prepared a really, really long list of mistakes that I have made and you guys are making right now to prevent you guys from saving. I will say you can save thousands of dollars on this and get results quicker, okay? Just give you a heads up, just give you a heads up. If you have spent already $3,000, $4,000, and $5,000 on Facebook ad, and you are still not able to find a way to make your store profitable, then your system have a problem. 
okay if you have spent already 500 dollars on that you if still not able to get one single sales you're done okay you, you you you're basically wasting money on facebook for us getting one order one sales on our store is so easy usually within the first hundred dollar we spent we can already get the first purchase okay most of the store is created right if you cannot get a sales with the system like this it just means that your product is not good your store is not good there's a lot of reason why this is not working not just facebook ad okay i want to give you guys the foundation first for today's training right so stay with me for the next 30 minutes okay and type seven 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 you're ready then we're gonna start today's training right so let me see your comments i see seven 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 i see this and that okay good 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 all right let's begin uh let me share my screen okay so first my do this yeah it's working Okay, let me share my screen with you guys. Okay, can you see it? Let me know if you can see it. All right, so the major, major question that people are asking is usually my ad have no sales what should i start so many things i can do on facebook right should i listen to a facebook recommendation which video should i watch hey Jake, you have so many videos which one should i start let me tell you let me tell you okay yeah my system my sharing my video for you guys is to give you guys a structure show you guys what you need to do as a big picture I cannot tell you exactly which step to do, like like or A, B, C, D, E. That's a user manual. If you want user manual, if you want user manual, please go to a site. Please go to a site called Facebook Blueprint. Okay, it's called Facebook Blueprint. Let me show it to you guys. Okay, if you have the time, if you have the time, go to Facebook Blueprint. Just go search Facebook Blueprint on Google. Find a link here. Yeah, you see something called learning program, right? Click learn more, right? Okay, free online course or whatever stuff. Finish all this. Yeah, finish all this. There's something specific only for Facebook ad. Okay, go here, you see, establish your presence, build relationship, attract the audience. Facebook already have all the things you need. Enhance your ad in ad, ad manager, right? Start advertising on your page. Sell your product online. Monetize your content. This is officially by Facebook. You just need to go inside there and then start learning. And this will give you all the things. It's always latest. It's always updated. You go to YouTube, the video can be created one year ago. But Facebook keep changing every few weeks. And only here, this is official. They will tell you what they have started, what is the newest update, and what you need to do next in each of the new release. How to fix the iOS update. How to do conversion API. That's all here. Okay, so I want you guys to take some time, finish the whole, all the courses here. It's going to take you a few weeks, if a few months. Okay, but at least understand it first. Because it gives you a lot of marketing concept, marketing strategy as well. All right? So, better here, better here. So, the first, the first biggest problem of you guys starting Facebook ad is you are only, you're learning only part of a system. You're learning only part of a system. What do you mean by part of a system? Let me show you. Let me show you. Just look here, just look here. Okay, when you create a campaign, when you create a campaign on Facebook, can you see? There's so many stuff. What's brand awareness? What's reach? What's traffic? Engagement? Ad install? Video view? Lead generation? Message? Conversion? Catalog sales? Why tra store traffic? So a lot of stuff that you have no idea. And then which one should I try? Why do we say, oh, someone said I should use engagement. Then you use engagement. Oh, someone tell me that I should use conversion. I should use conversion. That's the problem. That's the problem. You listen to other people that they said what you to do, then you do it. And you have no idea what other, what, what other does. Right? So that's the main things. And the second thing is, you go to business setting, you go to your business setting, you can say, oh my God, you get so many stuff. What, I can create pages here? Yes, you can have unlimited pages here. And I can't, yes, you can have unlimited Facebook, and I can't here. 
Yep, you can create your product catalog. You can create your facial pixel. You can have unlimited facial pixels as well. You can even have a look on yeah, how many ad account I can create. You see, this is my, my demo account. We can have three here. Right? You can add your Instagram account here. You can add your Instagram account here. Right? And then with your Instagram account, you can also assign your Instagram account to other ad account that you have. And then some people may ask, hey, Yik, is that one ad account only can have one facial pixel? No. One facial pixel, you can add it to multiple ad account as long as you share it here. A lot of people have no idea. They say, oh, is it one ad account, one pixel? That means if I open a new ad account, I need to have a new pixel. Then they will ask, how can I install the second pixel on my store? See, it's totally different story. You move from, I want to have one more ad account, and then you become, I want to have second pixel on my store. But actually, your purpose is to just create one more ad account, and you have no idea how to do it. Why? Because you are not Google it. Because you are not using your Facebook blueprint. Because you are not using a health center by Facebook. They have all the answer there to tell you that there's a lot of things you can do. Just type, how can I share Instagram account to multiple ad account? They, 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 they tell you the answer. How can I have one pixel for multiple ad account? Done. They have the answer there. Do the research first before you try to find the hard way. Because all the questions you're asking right now, Facebook has been here for nearly 10 years with Facebook ad. The question you are asking, they have the solution in the help center. You just need to go to the help center, type the question, they will help you to do it. They will find you the answer. Right? So that's the thing. Right? Please don't just think about, oh, I learned how to run ad on one product right now. I need the expert Facebook ad. No. It took me five years to learn everything. I'm still learning right now every single day. Okay, you guys just started your store for three weeks and then you think you are the Facebook ad expert? No. Facebook ad is the revenue stream that create billions of revenue to Facebook every single year. And do you think it's a very simple system? No. It's really, really technical. It's really advanced. That's why people selling Facebook course, ad course, can already become millions. They just sell Facebook ad course to teach you how to use Facebook ad. The same. Okay, why you need to learn? Because there's actually two parts of the Facebook ad you need to learn. The first one is academic. Go to the Facebook blueprint, learn all the academic stuff first. For example, for example, what is the meaning of CBO? What's the meaning of ABO? What's the meaning of product catalog? What's the meaning of engagement ad? It's all there. You need to go there to understand, hey, what's the those meaning would mean? Look alike, what's look alike? Customer audience, right? Page engagement. Uh, people click, send message to me, right? All this, all this crazy keyword, you need to learn about it. Beating, manual beating, beat, uh, beat cap, right? Video views, what dynamic content, A-B testing, what it is, right? If you don't know what it is, and you try to do it, then you just create a problem, right? So, academically, you need to learn it. And then, you need to learn from someone who have tried it. Okay, you have tried it. For example, I can, I can open a course, only teach you how to use a knife. Yeah, for knife, there's like thousand style, thousand types of knife. This one's for cutting apple. This one's cutting, I don't know, uh, chicken. This one's cutting fish, right? This is academic. But practically, which one should you use? Right now, you guys are running e-commerce store. It's already so different compared with people who are running, I don't know, lead generation, right? Real estate, right? Construction, right? A lot of people are selling uh, books, who are selling a uh, course, running an e-book. Right? There are so many different things you can do with Facebook ad, and they all have their own system to run. So if you guys are learning e-commerce, you should only learn from people who are running an e-commerce store. This is what we call a practical knowledge. And you need to know how they do it with every single step. For example, if you're running an e-commerce store, I would just say, just go shoot with purchase. Because you want purchase on the store. But for some people who are selling real estate, you cannot sell your house online, right? You need people to call you. That's why they run the ad for lead generation. They want people to have interest in selling their house or buying house and they leave their phone number there, then you call them back or they call you. That's called lead generation, right? So there's so many different purposes. You want people to install your app, then you use app install, right? So that's the thing, that's the thing. And for example, some of you guys, I really see people asking in the group, hey, what is PPE? What was what's, uh, uh, conversion rate? What's ATC? We already have the post in our group. Okay, you just search. Right? The e-commerce acronyms list, 
right? Two, three, three is mean two inches, three location, whatever things, right? Seven, seven is the meaning, right? FH order value, ABO is asset budget optimization, right? CA is custom audience, right? And then we have CPM, cost per million, which is just uh, how the number of how much you need to pay uh, for a thousand people who visit your, your ad, right? Conversion rates, uh, click through rates, all these things here. And you need to know this first, or you can refer to this just like a dictionary. For us, we know this. We've been running this for like years. So when people just say this, we just use this keyword. Oh, what's your, your CPM? Oh, what's your, your, your CR? What, what, what's the cost per purchase? The CPP, right? CPP, where is CPP? Or did they put here? CPP is that cost per purchase. Which is a lot of keyword, a lot of short name we are using. And you didn't know it. So they can talk to those people. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. with reading tons and tons of the posts or video and you have no idea what to talking about. So that's the first thing. Please understand the whole system first. I will not recommend anyone to run any Facebook ad unless they know like the system. Because you will know you will not know what's the next step. So that's the first problem. I want you guys to take some time to learn the Facebook stuff first. And you can learn from me or you can learn from Facebook or learn from YouTube. Okay, it's up to you. But the main thing is you need to know this is the game. It's like a like a uh, university uh, university task, okay, a degree that you need to learn, right? So, second thing, okay, you are expecting fast result. You are expecting fast result. Yeah. What fast result? You put five dollar there, you want to have sales. You put a hundred dollar there, you think you're gonna get one purchase. Have you really, really think about advertising cost? If you want to have your ad on a television, do you know how much it's gonna cost? Thousands, tens, hundreds of thousand dollars just for that, that 10 second uh, video. You wanna put your ad on the billboard, right? Another thousand of dollars. And right now you're using Facebook. And just because it's so easy to use and you expect fast results, you put like $5 there, you think, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get sales. $20 no sales, $100 no sales, even $500 no sales, you start to panic. You start to hate yourself. You start to hate everyone who teach you to use Facebook ad because you got no sales. Right? Let me tell you, Facebook ad rely on data. And it takes time to build up data. You have no data on your ad, how Facebook gonna work for you, right? Some of you may have no idea this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. You must understand this concept. You must understand this concept. On Facebook, why Facebook is so smart? Because you have something called Pixel. Pixel, in other words, you can just say it's cookies. If you, you, have, you are technical enough, it's called cookies. What it means is you just a Coke, a piece of Coke on all the website. Okay, everywhere on the internet. As long as you take an action on a Facebook page, on a Facebook uh, on, on a website that have installed the Facebook Pixel, then you got track. For example, right now I visited a site that is selling maybe t-shirts. Okay, and on this t-shirt page, it has the pixel, the Facebook pixel there. And Facebook first, it knows this website is selling t-shirts. And I visit the Facebook uh, what's website that's selling t-shirt that means facebook right now will put a tag on me this guy love may be interested in t-shirts so that's why in the facebook when you type t-shirt you type any people who love or interested in t-shirts then i will be inside this black basket yeah if i type something yeah if i type a comment on facebook i say that hey i love t-shirts i want t-shirts the same things facebook will put my name right now put my profile with a tag t-shirt so when i run it People who want to have t -shirt, want inches in t-shirts, I will see the ad. But this is just inches. This is just inches. What's so powerful about Pixel is there's something called uh, event. Okay, event. What do you mean by event? In Facebook, there's a lot of events. For example, there's something called purchase event. Okay, purchase. That means whenever someone buys something, add to cart. Okay, initiate channel and search. There's a lot of things. What well, it basically it means that. When, when I place a purchase in a t-shirt store, place a purchase there, this purchase pixel will fire it. And it put an attack on my profile. This guy just bought something on a t-shirt store. Okay? If I add to cart on this store, you also put a tag here. This guy add to cart. 
about a T-shirt on this T-shirt store. Okay, or initial check or, or whatever things. Right? So when you go to the event, you go to your Facebook ad, okay, you go to the, your Facebook ad, you want to do something called I want P, I want to optimize for purchase. That people who are interested in T-shirts, the high chance that this guy, me, because in the history, in my data, in the database, I was someone who purchased a T-shirt on a T-shirt site. And I had the purchase tab there. So that's why when Facebook optimized for purchase, he will first run the ad to me first. This I have a history of buying T-shirt stuff. That's the powerful, that's the power of Facebook Pixel. Because everything you have done is on is tagged on the on the, on the database. So when people ask me, Yik, when I, I run ad for ad to cart, run ad for initial checkout, up to you. You get what you ask for. You ask for ad to cart, that means Facebook will just send, show your ad to people who just add to cart or interested in adding to cart. But doesn't mean they want to purchase. If I, you want them to optimize for search, then he will just show people who love to search stuff. Doesn't mean they love to purchase. Then ask yourself, if you want purchase on your store, which one should I optimize for? Purchase, add to cart, initiate, or all the other crazy stuff. Video view, link click, right? Snapping page view, all the other things I mentioned before. All you need is just one thing. Just one purchase. Then you optimize for a purchase. Right? So this is what we call the Facebook pixel. Okay? This is the broad pixel. The broad one. And you will also have your own one, your own pixel. Right? You, you're going to create a pixel, you put the pixel on your Shopify store, right? On, when you put your pixel on your Shopify store, the data, you have zero data. Nothing there. When you have nothing data there, Facebook is going to use the master pixel from the database to help you to find a buyer. But once you start feeding data into your pixel, that means people will visit your store. Whatever action they take on your store, you're going to feed the algorithm, you're going to feed the baby. Right? If you give them high quality data, that means you run, you have a t-shirt store, okay, and then you only sell t-shirts. If you go to your store, they always buy the t-shirt. That means your pixel gonna have a lot of data that know who is the t-shirt buyer. Then that's what we call a niche store. So later on, when you keep launching t-shirts, you're gonna always can find buyer. Because Facebook know what is your buyer, what is your audience. But there's a lot, of, a lot of people, they run what? A general store. You know, a general store that they are selling kitchen items, they sell beauty product, they sell t-shirt, they sell hoodie, they sell tons of crazy stuff on, in a single store. Do you think Facebook know what you are selling? No. Your data is like here, there, here, there, there, here, here, there, wherever. You may take a longer, longer time to optimize this pixel. This is so random. You are selling kitchen product and then you sell beauty product. And then you ask Facebook, hey, help me to find buyer. So when Facebook wants to help you to find buyer, should he go for the kitchen stuff or he go for the beauty stuff? He don't know. But you just have lots of crazy stuff in your store. Right? Investing in Facebook ad is just like investing in your, what I would say, an asset. If you ruin your pixel, you will ruin your store. Okay, in the beginning, it's okay. Fresh, you have fresh pixel, it's okay. You rely on the big data. But once you start getting, having sales, and you fail to optimize it, your store is gone. I would just say open a new store. My open a new pixel is better than you continue with the same store. That's the biggest mistake people are making. Really, really crazy mistake. Right? So that's the bad problem. Please do not expect fast results. It takes time to build the data. Right? That's why if you ask me, hey Yik, how much, how much money should I need for Facebook ad? Okay, what's the, the best plan? The best plan is Start with a niche store. Yep, only sell niche product. That means you're doing baby product, you only sell baby product. Only baby, 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 baby. Keep selling baby product. Right? And then you're gonna spend like I know, I know. Facebook actually require you to have around a thousand purchase. Yep. One thousand purchase on your pixel. In order to make it look really, really mature. Okay, right now on Facebook. The cost per purchase, that means average cost of per purchase that someone will buy from you, it can range from $15, I would say around $15 for one purchase. I'm talking about one purchase. That means roughly you need $115,000 to optimize a store and it becomes stable. I mean stable. 
when you have a hundred purchases on the store, a, a, a thousand purchases on the store. Yeah, it's a game of budget. Yeah, it's a game of budget. When you reach a thousand purchases on the store in the same niche, trust me, every single campaign you launch, as long as, as long as it is the same niche, you will always get sales. That's what I'm seeing right now in our store. We most of our store have more than a hundred thousand pixel. I mean, a hundred thousand purchase. Right now, we just launch whatever stuff they're gonna buy at Fire Spire because they have enough pixel in our store. Right? This is the main target. But we say, oh no, yeah, I do not have fifteen thousand. That doesn't mean that you need to have fifteen thousand dollars. What I mean is, when you reach that level, you're gonna be stable. Because when you invest a fifteen thousand dollar dollar, doesn't mean you is zero dollar. Feel of this. When you run run ad, you got sales, right? You're gonna have sales. In this journey of getting sales, you're gonna have money. You reinvest your money back to the Facebook ad. Do you get what I mean? It doesn't mean you need to have one fifteen thousand dollar in the beginning in the pocket. No, I would say three to five k is already enough. Because in three to five k, you're using this system. Yeah. You spend five thousand dollars on that, you get back four. Let's say you get back just four thousand dollars. You can put this four thousand dollars back. Continue. We invest all the money you make from the store. Go for the Facebook ad. Go for the Facebook ad. That's why usually I've seen students spend about five thousand dollars, three to five thousand dollars. They always can break even. Break even in a meaning that you do not need to invest extra anymore. The store gonna run by itself. You put the ad. You got sales. You have profit. You put the money back into ad. Put the money back into ad. Test more product. Go back. Loop it. Keep looping it. Three to five k is enough for someone to start a drop shipping store that can break even. I'm talking about break even because it takes time for you to build like a thousand purchase or even more. So, phase of game, phase of ad, or even starting a business is nothing like fast result. No fast results in any any business. It takes time for you to learn. Right? Oh, the first five hundred dollars budget, you test like five products. Right? In this five product, you found that oh, the T-shirt got more sales. Then you focus more on selling T-shirts because Facebook optimized now based on the Facebook give it to them. You test the first product, product, product right? And in this five product, you found that only the T-shirt give you sales. That means this Facebook pixel know how to find your T-shirt buyer. Then you focus more on T-shirts. Right? And then you find more T-shirts. You found that oh, actually people love the T-shirt with. With I don't know blue color, then you know that next five product I find more blue color. If this time I can do blue hoodie, blue dresses, right, blue pants. See, you know how to optimize right now. Because after spending one thousand or two thousand dollar, you start to know is my buyer is woman or man. Where the sales come from? Is it from USA, from United, from Canada, from Australia, or from New Zealand? You're gonna know the country, the age, the gender. And then you also know which inches that's giving you sales. Is it the t-shirt inches? Is the hoodie inches? Right? You're gonna have a list of assets. That is the game of business. Well, that's the game of business. When you keep spending money, you keep optimizing it. You have the same target of finding the, the your ideal audience, and that's how you can spend less and less money in the later the later period of the business. All right. So that's why don't tell me that. Don't don't tell me anything. That yeah, I put two hundred dollar on this product. It must work. It must be a winning product. I don't care. It will not work. Because your pixel cannot help you to find a buyer. If you spend two hundred dollar, you got no sales, that means this Facebook pixel, unluckily that cannot help you find a buyer. But that's another story. We know a lot of people who are doing general store, they have a lot of budget. They usually spend like one thousand, even two thousand dollar in testing just one single product. Yeah, that's a big game. That's a big player. So they put two thousand dollar there to make sure that I get in, I give enough data to Facebook to find me the buyer. Then they start to optimize. But you guys have no budget. Then how can you do? You think you you willing to put one k in one one ad or one product? No way, right? If no way, then use our system. All right. I made you see me talking. How about this? <laughs> okay. So number three. Belief. Okay, versus reality. Okay, belief versus reality. 
Facebook. Okay, now you are using Facebook to help you to find buyer, right? That means who you should listen into. You should listen into the data that Facebook feedback to you, right? Right? So you may say, "Yik, I saw this product." Hey, I don't know what it is. It can be a, a, a knife. I saw a knife that's selling so good on TikTok or on Twitter or whatever. You see, it has a lot, a lot of engagement and you think this will work. And now you find this product on AliExpress, you put it in your store and you create an ad and you run the ad on Facebook. Right? Or, or, or. You see this ad, you see this product on a lot of spying websites. A lot of spying website. I don't know. I don't want to name anything. Any spying website that show you a product, okay, it will not work. I cannot say one hundred percent, but most of the time it will not work because thousand, tens of thousands of people also see this product, okay, and all of them are launching the same product, right? Then let's say you still believe it's work, then you put this product on ad. You run the ad right now on Facebook. Okay, you run the ad on Facebook right now. Oh, you saw this knife. Okay, you saw this knife. You saw this knife. Now you run the ad on Facebook. Okay, you, you, you use one ten three. Okay, ten asset. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Ten asset. Each of them five dollar. Okay, each of them five dollar. Each of them different single inches. Different single inches, right? In total, you're gonna spend like fifty dollar per day. Okay, on day one. On day one, I will say no link click. No link click. They mean no one clicking your ad. You post the asset. Okay, let me maybe on first day, one, two, one, two, three, four. This four you pause it already. Only uh, uh six of them remaining. These six of them give you sales. Uh, but give you give, have link click. And on day two, on day two, oh you found we, we focus on add to cart. If no one add to cart on day two, then you spend around ten dollar already, right? On some of the assets. Then no no ad. Only three of them remaining, right? Then on day three. That means you always spend like fifteen dollar, right? Day three no purchase. If there's no purchase on day three, you pause it. Okay, actually only one. Actually only one. So in this case, in this case, oh yeah, do you think it's a winning product? No, this is not a winning product. Why? First, first, you have spent like nearly a hundred dollar, and you only get one purchase, and you have test. Ten different audience, right? You test like ten different audience, and then only one audience give you sales. Do you think this product is scalable? You, you, this is a knife. First of all, this is a knife, a knife that basically every single family need one. But when you do the testing, you test like di ten different audience, like maybe the first one IKEA, the second one knife, that's just the third one Sarah Home. And then all the other other uh, kitchen related keyword, and only one interest got sales, and nine of the other audience no purchase at all, no link click, no add to cart. Let me what? It just tell you one thing. Let me tell you what. It tell you I mean a few things. First, first, this product okay, this product is not okay, it's not. I would say a common product. A common product means everyone gonna buy it. No, it's very very niche. It's too niche because only one audience buy it. Only one out of ten buy it. How can you scale up? But right? then you give a call to ten people, only one people buy. It's still good, but the problem is you already spend a lot of money. The second thing, Facebook, no idea how, where to find the buy for you. If Facebook know where to find the buyer, okay, in this 10 asset, I will expect at least three or above. Yeah. If you ask me, hey, Yik, what is a potential winning product? Okay, in this five asset, this 10 asset, you need to have at least three or above asset gas sales. Yeah, 
I mean it. If you have less than three, the high chance that this is not big really important. <laughs> All right. And, and the main thing is after three days, okay, three days of running like that, is is freaking even. Is it freaking even? Let's say you spend like one hundred dollar already. Okay, let's say I got one sales here, one sales here, one sales here. Okay, this one give me thirty dollar. This one give me uh also thirty dollar. This one give me thirty dollar. In total, you only get like ninety dollar, but you spend a hundred dollar. Then you are in the negative. You are not making profit. Then in my in in my in my calculation, I would just say this product is not making money in the beginning. Then I would just skip this product and find another product. Okay, a winning product will give you at least i tell you at least 3x roi on the campaign that means if you spend a hundred dollar in the whole campaign you should get at least 300 dollars plus in your revenue this is what we call a big winning product if not high chance your product gonna keep dying because a product on okay, let me tell you on facebook on facebook the roi will keep dropping the return on investment keep dropping. For example, day one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Okay, you're so good. You found a winning product. The winning product is giving you three x ROI. That means you spend one dollar, you make three dollar. Okay, on the days goes by. Okay, the three will become two point nine, two point nine. Okay, and then become two point seven, and then keep dropping two point five, right? And then two point two, and then two, and then one point five, and then one point four. Done. Your product is die. Done. About eight days, your product die. I know this is too short, but usually a winning product lasts around around four to six weeks. So a product will die in four to six weeks. That means your hour we're gonna keep dropping. So that means if you have a product you test it, okay, and your hour is the thing. Oh, after three days, my hour is 1.5. That means you start with 1.5. If you keep dropping on day four, you're already negative. Then what's the point of scaling up this product? Okay, that's the idea for, I'm giving you guys. I mean it. If the, in the beginning, your product is not good, your hour is not good, high chance it will not be good, the product. I will focus on a product that start off, giving me an hour like, like 10x ROI in the beginning, that I will know this product going to help me to run for a few weeks before it die out. That's the issues. That's the issues. Okay? So I have some I have a question here. So, is that possible? Is the creative of product copywriting that causes a low conversion? How can we know it's a not a winning product? It's a poor active. Yeah. See? That's a high quality question. At the same time, at the same time, how can you control it? How can you control it? First, let me tell you, let me tell you, as a beginner in e-commerce, the only thing you can control is to find the winning product. Because first, you have no idea how to what you have no idea what is a good creative. What's a good creative? You don't know. Right? What is good copywriting? You don't know. Right? You don't know what is a good creative. Oh, I can make video. Really? Do you think you can make video? You can make video like that? You can make some video that you think it will work. No, you don't even know what it was. It's a good video. You spend a three days, four days, one whole week create a video that think it will work. You launch the ad. Okay, maybe it's not a pro it's not an issue of the video. It's an issue of the product, right? How about good copywriting? Good copywriting. What's good copywriting? I don't know what's good copywriting. What is it? How do I write it? Oh, you know, I've seen people put it on their ad like thousands of words. Oh, feature one, feature two, feature three. So if you put all the copywriting on the ad. After reading all these things, do you think they will still go to your site? They will tell them what, you, what it is. Right? On Facebook, you know the difference on Facebook. On Facebook, it's about one thing. The hook. What's your hook? Show the right product okay, in front of the right audience. Okay, you show the right product in front of the right audience. 
how can I guarantee that you use this by relying on Facebook? Right? You use this by relying on Facebook because you are using Facebook algorithm. Yeah, you can have a very, very good copywriting. You can have a very, very good creative. But the problem is, can Facebook show your ad to the right audience? If on day one, day two, day three, Facebook still cannot show your product to the right audience, it doesn't matter you have the, the best creative or the best copywriting. Because Facebook had no idea what you're selling. That's the biggest problem. I see a lot of people that type crazy stuff on their ad copy. They, they make their photo look so amazing. It makes Facebook cannot even detect what you're selling. So that's why you cannot show, you, show the, the product to other people. Do you know how, how I make my ad copy? Cat t-shirt. You should do a cat moon face t-shirt. Let's say it's a moon face t-shirt, right? And I would say 50% off today only. And then I will put get it here. Dot com. And then product and then the cat t-shirt. And then in the ad, I will use I will just use the photo that the AliExpress is using. Why? Because the photo that's on AliExpress is already optimized. That's why it's on the front page of the AliExpress because people are clicking the image. It's, this is really eye catching to them. But I will use that image. I guarantee the image is not the issues. I guarantee my ad copy have no issue. This is so straightforward. My customer like the moon face t-shirt and they because of the 50% off, they will click it. That's why they click it. So the only reason why my ad failed will only be because of either the product is not good or the targeting have issues. And it will not be the targeting issues because I'm targeting like 10 different audience. So the only reason why my ad is not working is only the product is not good. So that's why, you know, when I teach you guys the system, it's not just Facebook ad, it's the overall system. Well, you, you are not like, oh, can I just use the 1103 for all my product? No. How about the system behind it? In my system, it's like, okay, I keep the ad copy simple. So the reason is not the ad copy have issues. I get a photo, it's the straightforward one. They see the image, they know it's a cat t shirt. They like it, they not like it, it doesn't matter. As long as they know what it is. Then, the only reason why it doesn't, it, it, why, the reason why it, well, it works or not working, it's just the product issues. Then if not working, I move on to another product, another product. I keep changing product to find the right one. I don't waste time making good copy. I don't waste time making a video because if the product work here, even with the most stupid ad copy, the most stupid image, that means if I optimize it with good creative and good copywriting, I'm going to make millions of dollars. That's the reason behind my strategy. There's a lot of people who focus on creative. A lot of people focus on copywriting, but that's not my style. You can do their style, then that style will not work with my system. That's the reason for it. Okay, that's the reason for it. So you guys need to make the decision. If you learn from someone, learn the whole system. Don't just pick like an A and then B and then C there. You learn the whole system, know how I'm thinking, how I use it. Then you know, ah, oh, that means I will know the problem is not my store. The problem is not my ad copy. It's the only the product that have the issues. Okay, so that's the thing. And, and, please, do not believe in any product that will work. Only focus on the data. If the data is not showing you results, that means Facebook cannot find you the buyer. Then just move on. Move on, move on, move on until you find a product that Facebook know how to give you sales on day one. Then you have a here jackpot. Instead of worrying too much how to fix, no need to fix. Just keep changing. Keep moving. When you, this is what we call like, like diversify your risk. Diversify your risk. You have thirty dollar. You have you have three thousand dollar. You can test like thirty products here. You can test thirty products with three thousand dollar, and high chance you will find a one, find one or two that's really really good. Because you know the problem is not the echo. All right. So part four. Oh my god, it's already just oh, thirty minutes. All right. So why my ad have no sales? Why my ad have no sales? So this is really important. This is really important. Because there's so many reasons. <laughs> there's so many reasons why your ad have no sales. First, first, it can be you are not optimizing for purchase. You're optimizing for other reason. That's why no sales. Second thing, your store just look too ugly. I mean it. 
most of you guys think you create a store that it must work. No. When I look at you guys' logo, when I look at your color, I can see like rainbow color on the store. Green title, blue title, and then the, 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 the add to cut button is pink. And I go to checkout page, the, pink, the button becomes yellow. And then I can see like crazy font. This size is different. The font for the title and the description is so different. Right? There's logo, there's like everything around your website. If I'm if I'm a wrestler, go to your website, I will not pick a purchase anymore. And there's a pop up, right? There's a pop up. Uh, uh, they asked me to put 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 the the, the, the email, and then there's a live chat button. It blocking my add to cart button, right? And there's a lot of crazy stuff on your store. M more is less. Less is more. I'm gonna repeat. More is less. Less is more. We keep our store very very clean, very very straightforward. Pull up page. Some 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 paragraph, some image, add to cut button, then they know that the only reason why the product is not working okay, will not be my store. I keep the store really, really standard. Okay, really, really standard. So they have no reason that my store is not working. Okay, then when the product is doing good, the sales is doing good, then I slowly optimize my store. Right? So that's why don't tell me that your yeah, why my ad have no sales. I cannot give you the reason. There's so many reasons. It can be your store is just too stupid. Right? It can be you are just using crazy setup on an ad account. You are maybe using video instead of image. Right? Maybe you are you are having a button on the on the image, not 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 having a link on the on description. Right? So that's why I, I cannot teach you guys the whole system here because there's so many variations. You need to know there's so many reasons, not just about Facebook ad. So before you run the Facebook ad, make sure your store look clean and look simple and look easy and straightforward. Yeah, uh, there's no 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 example here, but you can go to our uh, website and go to the Econ Club. We we done a, a a store review previously. You can go to that video and search for something called store review. There's some student uh giving a store a we we review on the live, and you know what's the problem for those store. All right. Number five. This is the main things. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. Right, you let's say, you, I mean it. People say, hey, I'm using one ten free that you recommend. You put five dollar budget there for each asset, and then you don't know what to do next. First, you didn't watch a full video about when you need to pause the ad. Even though you pause the ad, you don't know oh, what's next. Yik, I paused my ad already. I have free asset got sell. What's next? What should I do? See, you have no idea what you do next. You just wait and you just do the step one, and then there's no step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So many people like this. Just like you know, Facebook, they will say, Hey, uh, your your ad may have no conversion. Try to switch your ad to optimize for landing page view. So, what's the meaning of landing page view? Landing page view, just by the meaning of the word, it means that you want people to go to your page. That's it. So you will be optimizing for asking people to go to your page, but doesn't mean they will make the purchase, right? So after you switch the conversion from purchase to landing page view, then what's next? What's next? What do you do? No. Facebook just tell me to switch to landing page you and then I don't know what to do next. You put like five dollars every single day, keep burning a budget, and you don't know what to do. Right? You run an ad for link click ad. Oh, the link click which means the traffic ad. Oh, I run the traffic ad right now. What should I do next? No idea. I just know someone tell me to run the link click ad and then you put a five dollar there. See? That's the reason why you guys burn a lot of money. You have no idea what to do next. Same. When you, you buy the stock, I say someone asks you, hey, buy Tesla now, the stock. Right? It's so cheap, buy it now. Okay, you buy it. So now you buy it. Right? And then after two weeks, someone say, oh, Tesla is dying, it's not good, sell it. Oh, then you sell it. Oh, Tesla is so good now, you buy it. Right? You just do like this. What you're doing right now, you are just following what? You're following recommendation from any part of the world. It can be Facebook, it can be someone on the Facebook poll, someone on the Facebook group, or someone here talking, replying your comment. Do you really know what's the next step you need to do? You create a Shopify store. What's next? Or oh, import some product. Or oh, what's next? Run the Facebook ad. Or oh, what's next? Oh, I don't know what to do now. I start running my Facebook ad. I got no sales. What's next? Or oh, shut down my store, go back to my 9 to 5. Yeah, just go back to 9 to 5. You have no idea what to do next, then don't do it. That's why you need a system. You need a step by step guide. You need to buy courses. You need to join Mastermind. You need to have a coach, you need to have a teacher showing you next step. Because if you do not know the next step, 
You just what? You just without without a torch, then you go to the sea. You sail on the sea without a torch at night. You cannot see. You see nothing. You just know your your boat is just sailing on some direction, and you cannot see. You can see nothing on the boat. And there's some one wave. Go here, and you your your boat push to the left hand side, and you push and you go to the right hand side, and then you ask yourself, okay, what's my destination? You have no destination, right? That's the biggest problem. You guys have no destination about what you do next, and you start doing something. You're gambling. Okay, I don't want you guys to gamble. Investment. Okay, instead, you know some people will buy Tesla. What they do? Okay? Or they buy a twenty dollar. Let's say you buy a twenty dollar. They will say, I'm gonna cash out fifty percent of the profit when Tesla reach, reach like thirty dollar. Okay. Then they cash out fifty percent. They will say, Oh, how about we need fifty percent? They will say, Oh, I will keep the other fifty percent. Fifty percent. Okay, fifty percent for life. It's just to support Tesla. Done. At least they're step. I take 50% of my profits, I use the 50% profits to another another stock. But the other 50%, I keep it there for life. That's the strategy. Do you have a strategy? No. Then why do why 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 do it? Okay? Next one. Learning phase. This is the most annoying question I got asked every single day. I mean it. Look at this. You must have seen something like this on your ad, right? Rejected, learning limited, uh, scheduled. Let me move it here. Right, scheduled, in review, active, learning, complete. Right, you're gonna see it here on your ad as well. <laughs> right, active learning. Right, you're gonna see something like like rejected, right? Limited learning, learning limited. Most of your time, you guys are gonna see is learning limited, which is uh, this one. Learning Limited. Okay, most of you guys should be seeing Learning Limited. Okay, just look at the meaning. The asset didn't generate enough results to exit the learning phase. To exit the learning phase. I will, let me do a very, very simple calculation for you guys. Okay, learning phase. Phase will implement it like a few years ago. Until now, we, we, we just ignore it. I just simply ignore the learning phase because they didn't change at all. It's just meaning telling you that Facebook have a very, very good quote. It warned you, you need 50 conversion a week, okay, to exit the learning phase. That is what they are talking about. You need 50 conversion. So that means if I want my asset to optimize better, I need to give 50 purchase. A week let me tell you let me tell you just let me tell you facebook will have this learning phase warning every single time on the ad you just keep telling you increase your budget to exit the learning phase and then you know some students are going to challenge me hey yik facebook tell me to increase budget i should not use the five dollar i should put one hundred dollar Go ahead, listen to Facebook. This is just prediction. This is prediction. So let's say, oh, I believe that I can get 50 conversion. Let's say right now, the cost per purchase on Facebook is $50. Okay, you need 50 purchase per week. How much? How much? 50 times 15. You need $750 a week on budget. That means daily, daily budget, you need at least $100 per asset. I'm talking about per asset. I mean it. I mean per asset. That means let's say you are doing one ten three. You run one campaign, ten inches. Okay. That means this ten single asset, each of them need a hundred dollar to so called expect it will leave the learning phase. But but it based on what? It based on you need to first that you can guarantee you can make purchase at fifteen dollar. You are lucky, I can tell you. You are lucky that if you can find a purchase at fifteen dollar, right now Facebook can be fifteen to thirty dollar. It depends on your product, depends on the selling price. So it can be more. If what if? Or oh, actually, right now your cost of purchase thirty dollar, huh? If you have thirty dollar, look at it. If you need thirty dollar, then you need around two hundred dollar per asset just to exit the learning phase. But do you know right now what you're doing? You're testing product, right? 
you try to see whether this product is working or not. So you test the product. So you're testing product. Then if you're testing product, why go straight to $100? You want to make sure that, hey, Facebook, I have no money. Yeah, just tell me that I have no money. Please buy me a buyer. Even I have no money. You're telling Facebook right now, if your product works at a super low budget, yeah. If your product, if your product you're selling one work at a very, very low budget with just $5 per day, you can easily scale it up because Facebook know what you are selling. That's the main thing. But people say, oh no, why, why you need 50 conversion? Because first, Facebook will know, hey, hey, Yik, hey, hey, hey Ada, hey, Kaysen, I have no idea what you're selling. Please, please increase the budget so that I can collect 50 purchase first so that I can help you to find a buyer. That's what they're saying to you. Please help me find 50 purchase first and then I can help you to optimize. But please increase your budget. But for me, no, I'm not like this. I like, okay, I just have $5. Facebook, I just have $5. If you can find me purchase with $5, then I will increase the budget. So, if Facebook can find you a with just $5, that means he knows what you're selling. If he knows what you're selling, when you increase the budget, the chance of winning is way higher than gambling on the $100 budget. So that's the reason. So if you have no budget, don't just ignore the learning. Just totally ignore it. No, 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 because you don't have the $100 per day budget. If you have, I will still not recommend you do it. Because $100, you can test one product. I prefer testing more product than putting too much money on one product. Okay, so that's what we call learning limited, the learning phase. A lot of people, they will not tell you this because they do not watch. They just will focus on hit the 50 purchase. Not many people can do it. Not many people can do it. Right, so seven. Okay, yeah, okay, now I know it. You want us to optimize for purchase. You want us to use low budget. But then, then when? When should I use the other objective other than purchase? Right? So, now, now, I want you guys to start dropping notes. I know you guys have been dropping notes, but, but, so, so far until now, if you have learned a lot of stuff already, just based on the first five, phase six, give me some seven, 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 tell me some thanks, so that I can move on to the second stage, because it will be more and more technical. I need you guys focus with this one because I'm going to explain each and every one of them and which one I'm going to use. Okay, this is the hacks. This is the secret that we are using. Okay, if you can really understand what I'm doing right now, you will know in the future when should I use the traffic, when should I use engagement, when should I use conversion, when should I use all these things. All right? So, so first of all, conversion. You just select conversion. Very easy. Just go to here, create, okay? Go to conversion, click continue, you're gonna have something, you have gonna have a campaign here. You're gonna have a campaign here. So a campaign is to here to put your objective. Okay, to put your objective. Wait. Okay, so that's uh, let me let me put it first. Stick with me. I know it's too a little bit long for today's training, but I really, really want to help you guys fix this problem. Right? So first you have something called objective. Okay, what is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal. Okay, it is your objective. And then on Facebook, so this is on the campaign level. Okay, campaign. C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N, campaign. Okay, and then that's another thing called asset. Okay, in asset, we, do, we use, okay, we optimize for events. Okay, events, or you can say your target, which is your targeting. Who should I target? What's the gender? What's the age? Things are gonna happen, you're gonna edit those things in the asset. That means your audience. Your audience and your, your event. Right? Then there's another thing called ad. The ad level is just basically about your creative. That means the image, the video, and all these things. So you need to know these three different levels. So in here, okay, here you can see campaign, asset, and ad. Right? In the campaign here, let me just discard this thing first. So when you click create, go to something called ask you to pick an objective. Okay, in the objective right now, 
you guys should be only focusing on conversion. Okay, on conversion. That's why I will start with conversion first. You go to conversion, you click it, you select it, then it will show you something like this. You can see new campaign, new asset, and new ad, right? For the campaign, the only thing you need to do is just one here. Whether you want to do campaign budget optimization or not, because the time is not, it's short today, I will not go through what's campaign optimization, what's ABO. Okay, I'll just go straight to the asset here. Go to the, go to the asset, you click it, then you're going to ask you, hey, select a pixel. Because using a conversion, you need to have a pixel on your store to tell Facebook what you want to optimize. For example, I will just use the, the demo pixel here. You click here, then you click event. You're going to see so many events. For example, there's something like add to cart, initiate channel, lead generation, right? Purchase, review content. There's other things. If on your ad, you see nothing called purchase, high chance that it just means your store do not have any purchase. That's why you cannot have the purchase selection here. All you need to do, just create a fake order on the store, then the pixel will be activated. In the beginning, usually you will not have the purchase. You just have the real content and other stuff. You need to activate the purchase first. Just place a fake order on the store. Then you will have the purchase, right? So I will opt optimize for let me show you here let me show you here uh let's say uh event event the things the reason why you can see here i'm, I'm doing a testing i optimize for purchase okay i optimize for initial checkout okay i optimize for lead they may i want people to sign for my email and i optimize for people who visit one of the page right and this is like another page let me show you the difference Okay, the major difference will be the CPM. Look at the CPM. Look at the CPM. Look at the CPM. Which one give me the most expensive CPM? Purchase. Events purchase. Sometimes lead also so expensive. See, I don't know what they want. It's expensive. Initial also so expensive. But sometimes purchase is cheaper. Right? Landing page. Just visit the five page. Uh, five day thank you page. 130 is cheaper, right? You need to know the reason why you're optimizing for different, different conversion in your event. For example, I'm doing this is I want to know, hey, I want to test the creative. I want to show my creative to the most number of people that high chance they're also going to take an action on my store. And in this case, this one, lead John five day, spend a, uh, the CPA is just $100, $100 which is what 50 percent cheaper than the other then i'm going to use this to test my creative maybe i have two different products two different color i want to see the blue is better or the green is better or the blue is better then i take it out but i will still run the purchase ad after i test the creative so that's the reason why i will use different uh, uh event when i'm using a conversion ad i know it's really really fast it's really fast but i would just recommend if you want to test just the creative you're not looking for any purchase you just want to know is the t is the blue color is better or the green color is better then you can use an event that's that's not purchase which someone is cheaper in terms of cpm to help you to know which one is a better color or which one is a better photo then once you know it after you spend a ten dollar twenty dollar you take it out then use that image and then you use the purchase ad because only the purchase ad or the initiation out will give the purchase. You can see. I mean, let me show the Hong Kong one. In the Hong Kong one, the purchase one give me sales. And if you look at CPM, the purchase one is also the most expensive one. See? 120. Lead is cheaper. Initial also cheaper. Right? So that's the case. If you want purchase, you optimize for purchase. Right? Then better here. To here. So you have conversion. The second thing you need to learn is traffic. Is traffic. Traffic it means send people to a destination, such as watch website, app, Facebook event, or whatever mention conversation. Usually it just means link click. You want people to go to there. You just want people to go to there. When? When do you when do you use traffic ad? Let me show you when. So right now, right now, you have A. No, you have like you have 100 people. Let me do that. This so people who visit your site, okay? No, 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 this is like people who see your ad, people who visit your site, right? People add to cart, people initiate checkout, and people who purchase, 
Okay, we call this funnel. Right? On Facebook, on Facebook, as long as, as long as they visit your site, they add to cart, they niche it out, or purchase, all this you can retarget. That means if you go to my website, you see this page, I can start running ad to you again. So if if so when do I use the traffic ad? I will use the traffic ad, let's say, hey, you have already visited my site. I want them to to buy, to buy. I want them to buy. I only I want to run ad to this guy. Then I will use the traffic ad. Hey, this let's say this like one million people see your ad. And that's like around like I don't know, maybe five thousand people go to your website. So it will be way cheaper for you to run a traffic ad to these 5,000 people and ask them to buy from you instead of using the purchase conversion. Because if you use the purchase conversion, Facebook first, you need to find in this like 3 billion people on Facebook, it only show to 1 million people. Because here, Facebook has to filter what people are interested in buying your product. So here, Facebook needs to spend money on your ad. That's so expensive to run a purchase ad. But once they visit your site, those people is really, really high quality. They have the intention to buy already. Then you may not need to use the purchase ad. You can just use the traffic ad. Hey, just click my link, click my link, click my link. Because they love to, they have the potential to buy a product already. So that's the reason why I will use traffic ad. You need to know when you use traffic ad. Do you, what do you want to do? You want to go to your site. What's next? Because they have interest in my store. I don't want to use the purchase. Because if I use purchase, Facebook will, in this 5,000 people, you filter another layer. It will not reach all 5,000 people. You find another layer of people. But if you use traffic ad, you find people who want to link click. And they will go to your store. Right? So that's one of the reasons I will use the traffic ad. Right? Then that's another one. Engagement. How about engagement? What's engagement? See? Engagement gives you more page like post reaction, comment, and share. Straightforward, right? When do I use it? When do I use it? So right now you have a pro, you have a product. You know, product usually like this, right? I, you have a, you have a, a image on a, on 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 the ad. You have something here, the URL here, right? They have you have the comment, uh, like, comment, and share the button here, right? So when I found that this product after I test it, after I test the product, I always see some sales. I see sales, right? Then what I will do is I will run PPE ad to this ad. Because when I run PPE, I'm gonna get more likes, I'm gonna get more comments, get more share. In the beginning, this ad may have zero, may have, may, may have no likes, no likes at all. But after I run the PPE ad, it's so cheap. Let me tell you, in PPE ad, you only need to spend around fifty dollar. Okay, you can get one like ten k likes. Okay, ten k likes easily on this ad. Trust me, fifty dollar can give you ten thousand likes. Do they give you purchase? High chance, no but they'll give you likes. Then you use this ad again to run ad with the purchase campaign. When people see this ad already have like 10,000 likes and the product is already proven to work in your testing campaign, then high chance that this ad gonna, is become more cheaper and cheaper, more people are going to react to it. So I only use PPE ad after I test with the conversion ad. I know that some other guru will teach you that, oh, always one PPE first. Right? and then you run the conversion, right? Yeah, it will work only if you have the budget. Yeah, you take at least $50 to run a PPE ad to get you 10,000 likes. However, in this 10,000 likes, you know what? You know what's going to happen? Let me show you one of our, our one of the, in the WhatsApp group. You know whether you guys can see it? So today, I uh, show a screenshot to our student, uh, to, our, to our WhatsApp group. You see, this is a PPE ad. Engagement ad, also called PPE ad. Okay, I spent $400 here. I spent $400 here. I get, you can see, nearly 2,000 link click. And the link is so cheap. Just like 0 0.23. Just 0 0.23, I get one click. And they're not buying. And on the other hand, on the high, other hand I use the conversion ad. This one spent three thousand dollar, and we make back nearly six thousand dollar. And the link click is so expensive. You can see the link click is like nearly two, uh, six times more expensive than the PPE ad. But I have purchased here. So then 
Yeah, why are you still running this ad? Because I run a PPE ad to give me more likes and comments so that the conversion ad will have you can perform better without the PPE than without the PPE ad. But you know, some people will still recommend, oh, let me run a PPE ad first. Imagine right now, imagine right now, if I run a PPE ad, I drive like, like I don't know, maybe like 500 click to my store. And this 500 people click my store have like 10 people add to cart. At that moment, let me tell you, at that moment, your Facebook pixel start to optimize based on the poor traffic that you generated from a PPE ad that those people only like and comment. Okay, only like and comment. And then Facebook start to optimize for that. So you're going to have lower and lower quality traffic on the Facebook pixel. And your Facebook pixel going to ruin just because of that. We have seen so many people running PPE ad and then they expect it will work. Yep, it will work if you have enough budget to drive high quality traffic. But if you guys have low budget, please do not run the PPE. Because just think about equilibrium. Equilibrium. See, one degree Celsius of water, right? You want to reach 50 degrees Celsius, you need to have like 49 degrees difference, right? That means you need to have the water that is at least 99 degree. This 50 plus 49, 99 degrees Celsius, one degree add to 99, you're going to equal to 50 degrees Celsius of the water. The same in Facebook, right? If you have like 100 poor traffic, okay, you may need another 900 high quality traffic to dilute it, to make it into high quality traffic. You're going to spend your even higher budget because this is purchase conversion. This is cheap. You get what you pay for. Right? So that's the reason why I see the same. When when you ask us the good question, that's the reason why I'm telling you guys do not run a PPE yet in the beginning. Just don't run a PPE yet. You run a PPE yet, you ruin your pixel in the beginning. Unless you have bigger budget on the on your on your on your purchase conversion. Usually we recommend a ratio, a ratio of one to nine. That means ten dollars on PPE, you should have actually $90 on conversion. That can help you to balance out. $10 on PPE, then you need $90 on conversion. That's the ratio. And you can see on here, on, 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 the, on the example here, right? In this ad, you can see $400 on PPE, $3,000 on conversion. That's what we're doing. I want one to nine. You see, can you see that this, this exact formula I'm using right now? I'm teaching you what I'm doing right now. 1.87 ROI. But this is because of ROI uh, update. Actually, we get way more conversion than this one. All right? So that's the case. You need to balance out. All right? And let me show you another example. We have another screenshot. You see, this one, this one. We only want a PPE. You see, product, product 4 to product 40, 54. And we spend like uh, $1,000 here. And look at here. We only get one purchase. We spend one thousand dollar, and just only able to get one purchase if you are running the PPE. Ad. So good luck for you guys who are running the PPE. So that's why you say, hey Yik, someone tell me to run a PPE ad first. Okay, when do you stop? When you should stop the PPE? You don't know. You just need to know you need to run it. When should I move to conversion? You don't know because you don't know what to do next. So that's a problem. People waste a lot of money here. All right. Next, nearly done. Nearly done. This is just some wrap up. Yeah, there will be some warning that tell you that there will be no conversion. Let me do a quick one here for you guys. Conversion, right? And then we go to here, and then we, we, we use, let's say, purchase, right? Look here, look here. See? Look here, look here. On the right-hand side here, you're going to show you something called estimated daily result. Right? Estimated daily result. First, we show you that, okay, you're going to have less than 10 conversion. Some of you may say zero conversion if you have a, have a fresh pixel, right? But you know, if I put a higher budget, look at it. Let me put like 1,000. See, suddenly, suddenly, Facebook said, hey, Yik, if you put $1,000 on, on, on this asset, I'm going to give you 7 to 23 conversion. Gambling. Do you think? Facebook can really, really give you a seven conversion. Then you say, no, whoa, that's a good number. Let me put 5,000. Oh my God, I got 30 sales right now. See, that's how people, how Facebook playing with you. Yeah, this is just prediction. 
I can put like nine. I can put like it's too big. See, huh. if I do like that, face are gonna broke. Don't believe here. It's just an estimate daily result. It doesn't work like that. Okay, and it also tell you based on seven day click conversion window. That means you need to run the ad for at least seven days, and the high chance that you may get the number like this. But it doesn't mean it work. Because there's so many factors. So just ignore this kind of warning. It will not work. We add on the data. No sales, just move on. Right? So that's the thing. A lot of warning, yellow warning here, right? A lot of crazy stuff. I know something you see recommended. You see, oh, everything called recommended, right? Here, see, detailed targeting, expansion. Please don't use this. Please don't use For example, you see, Hong Kong has 6 million people, right? If I put, let's say I want to target people who, who, who want to buy t-shirts, I put t-shirt here, then it will tell me that, okay, when you put, right now in Hong Kong, too small, actually there's like 1 million people interested in t-shirts. Then, if you select this button, okay, now you're going to have 6 million people again. So what's the point of putting interest here if you're selecting this button? So if you are targeting different interests, please unselect this button. So we really, really show to people only love t-shirts. If you select this button, you're going to show it to everyone in Hong Kong. Okay? Just don't use this one. Alright? Number nine. Okay, PPE ad. Ah, I showed this already. So you only run PPE ad when you want to get more social proof, which like, comment, and share. Don't use that on a new product because it will ruin your optimization. Right? Then, last one, travel ad. Yeah, I told you already, you use the travel ad if you want link click. And it works the best if you already have some audience already visit your site. Then you retarget them, ask them to come back. Then it will be way cheaper than the conversion ad. All right? So let me see what else. What other bonus I have here? So, first, you can have unlimited pixel. All you need to do is just go, go to pixel, add, create an add pixel, then you just create a random pixel here. You just like, okay, but it'd be a new store, right? And then you click continue. And now you have a new Facebook pixel. Okay, all you need to do is just need to set up the pixel. Right? You copy the code, you put it on, you, you, you can copy the code here, or right? you put it on a Shopify store, or you use the Shopify conversion uh, API, also works the same. After you have this one, you just click Add Asset. Then you can assign it to your other pixel, or your other ad account. So you can have unlimited pixel. But I recommend one store, one pixel is enough. One store, one pixel is enough. Right? Then, button or no button. We don't recommend using ad with the button. We don't recommend running ad with the button. Okay, which means when you go to here, when you try to create an ad, okay, when you try to create an ad, here, so always turn off dynamic file. So when you try to create an ad, right, most of you guys gonna have the image. Let me let me just select one for you guys. Okay, let's say uh just let's say I don't know, let's say say this one. Right? If you use create ad, there will be always a button here. You see the button here? We don't recommend using button. We don't recommend using button. Then yet, how can I create not button? Non-button, you just use publish post, existing post here, and then you click create post. And then you create a post there. When you create a post there, you upload your email, you put an ad copy, then the post will have no button. The reason why we don't recommend using button is because we test it. We have tested the one with button and with the button. The one with the button is cheaper and higher quality. Why? Why higher quality? Because if there's no button on the image, people have to click the link in the description. That means if they find a link to click it, they may high chance that they really, really love your product. Otherwise, they will not waste time finding the link. So that means the people who click the link is always high quality. Then the second reason, if you have a button on the image, 
the whole image become clickable. You know, some people who, like like old age, like 60 or 50, 50 years old, it's so difficult for them to see the image. They will click it and enlarge the photo, right? But if you use the ad with the button, the image is not enlargeable. When they click it, they will go straight to your website. That means people have no interest in your product just because their thumb is too big. Just because they misclick something on the Shopify, on the Facebook, they will go to your store. And then what happened? And then what happened? Because they don't want to click it, they're not intended to click it. They go to a store and instantly close the website. On Facebook, it means something called bounce rate. Bounce rate means your link is not working. Your link is not good, your website is not good. People go inside and quit. On Google, it will also affect your Google, uh, Google score as well. This will ruin your pixel. First, low quality traffic. Second one, bounce rate. You may expect, no, yeah, I have a lot of people going to my website. Why well, does no one add to cart? Because those are drunk traffic you sent using the button ad. So I recommend not using any button. Believe it or not, that's what I'm using since the beginning until now. I still work really, really well, right? So Instagram account, yep, you can have your Instagram account to run ads for different Facebook page and different Instagram uh, account as well. So you just need to add your Instagram, go to Instagram account here, and then just add the account with the login. Then you can assign asset. You add this asset to this Instagram or to this ad account. Then this ad account can start using this uh, Instagram account to run the ad, right? Then automatic placement. So what's automatic placement? You go to the ad asset level. You click your edit button. You're gonna see something called automatic placement. Right? For automatic placement, what it means is you're gonna show your ad to all these things. Facebook, Instagram, all their network, uh, Messenger, uh, Facebook story, Instagram story, right hand column, you know, like, 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 like 20, 30 of them. But you're using just one single image. People who see the ad on story and people who see the ad on the right hand corner, you need different image to optimize it. The image that work on a news feed doesn't mean it will work on a story. So we do not recommend automatic placement, okay, unless your pixel have enough data to know that your audience love to see ad on story. That's why he will add team optimize to run more ad on story. Otherwise, Facebook will just spend your money in every single placement to show to people that maybe not the clicker or not the buyer. So if you have new pixel, you want to get, get the best high quality traffic, then I would just recommend when they add on Facebook feed and Instagram feed only. Let me show you which two. You only want to run ad to these two area, Facebook new feeds and Instagram feed. You can see that's why they are actually on the top two as well. Because those most people are going to see the biggest image and biggest logo on the news feed. And this will give you the highest quality traffic. And this can build your pixel on the get-go. All right. So let me see some questions here. Do you focus more on the top of the funnel matches to determine the live and depth of SSC in the iOS within the metrics? So, uh, Evelyn, right? You're talking about the top of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel stuff. If you guys just focusing on one or two products, then the top of the funnel, bottom of the funnel will work really, really well. But for us, no. We focus on finding more winning product than optimizing on one single product because a product will die really, really quick. Like I said, the life cycle of product will just be a few weeks. So I'm to put do more focus on the TOF or the BOF. I'm just wasting too much time creating the asset, creating the ad. Right? I prefer testing more product. So that's why most of product will be just top of the funnel and then retargeting. Retargeting in a way of product catalog retargeting. Uh, uh, dynamic ad retargeting, Google retargeting, right? all these things that we recommend the same product to them again and again. So the, the evergreen ad will just uh, work for us. If we are using CWO targeting strategy for local market, there's no difference between switching on and off the different expansion. Yup, you have CWO targeting, then no different. For traffic ad, the only thing you need to take note is the minimum ad spend for Travel X is at least $5 USD. You cannot set lower than $5. But if you run conversion ad, you can, you can just run for just $1 per asset. 
all right and for travel ad i would say as a beginner you don't need to use it even for me i don't use it as often most of my time i just use dynamic ad most of the time i just use purchase ad okay so it's totally up to you guys whether to try it or not but i would say keep a system really really simple right so our very very simple system is i don't want to go too deep but mainly it's just like you test a product you test a product for around 50 dollars per day okay and then after three days okay if the product is is winning that means breaking even okay breaking even then you run the pbe at the same time you test more uh, new new inches to see whether the product can scale to a bigger inches right and then you scale the winning asset if the asset is doing good you increase the budget or you duplicate and double the budget right if someone is not working you fail right that means not breaking even then you just test another product you keep doing this roughly i can tell you roughly one out of 10 products you should be find a product that's kind of breaking even okay once let me, let, me, let me use a better once out of 10 okay will be a product that's break even once out of 20 product you test it will be someone who are profitable okay and then once out of 50 you're gonna see something that can give you like 500 per day even 1k day and then one out of 100 those are the product that can give you like 3k or more per day okay number the game is the number number is the game number is the key to win in this situation so that's why minimum is 10 product to find a product that's breaking even 20 is to find a product that's profitable but 50 is to find a product that's 500 uh, per day okay 100 so that's why i call this a journey to 100 if you're not able to test 100 product in your e-commerce journey you're too young if you're too young save more money and focus on building your store and your branding first Yeah, traffic A is for people retargeting people who visit your store or do something on the store that you can retarget. Okay, so I hope this can clear you guys up a lot, a lot of Facebook ad, beef, or something like that. We use this system for a really, really long time. It still works really, really well. Okay, it really depends on your niche. It really depends on your system. Okay, different store gonna have different strategy, but for us. This strategy is focusing more on drop shipping store than you focus on the quantity. But if you have your own product, just one or two products in your store, then you need to have another strategy. Like the top of the funnel, you need to create more video, more photo to get attract more people attention because you only have just one single product. Right? But you have tons of tons of product for you to sell, then we focus on finding the one that can give you a lot of lots of sales in the beginning in terms of wasting too much time on something that may not work. All right, so let's see if you guys have any question, then we're going to move. I think that's it for today, right? So if you want my whole system, you want to know exactly how we run the store, how to set up our product page, how to set up our, our, our store and all this email marketing stuff, we still have our course available that you can, you can join and buy. We are, we're going to increase the price in the next few days because this is a private launch. We only launch it to our audience so after the i think after this week we're going to increase the price from five hundred dollar to nine hundred dollar okay and for the for the mastermind will be three thousand dollar and seven thousand dollar so if you're not joined right now you're going to see the price increase in the next few days all right so if you're still interested you can send me a private message i'm going to send you the link to hop it on otherwise we're just going to keep this program really really high ticket because if you do not have a budget i would just ask you to focus on the free training if you found that you want to have more systemized training then please talk to me i'm going to give you the link to join our mastermind because if you have no budget it's so hard for you to get consistency in terms of results right i don't want you guys to expect that hey yeah i have 500 dollars can i become successful in e-commerce yes you can but not as easy as when you have enough budget right because starting a business it takes time and money and then and then and, and, and dedication right so you do not have enough time to put in there and budget to run the store high chance they're gonna raise a lot of budget i would just keep saying save the money there's other way for you to invest not starting a business right so i'm really really uh, helping you guys here to give you all the things i know for free right now okay but for systemized things i only cover it in the mastermind because everyone starts somewhere 
I cannot cover everything from scratch. So that's why if you want the whole system, the best is to come to here, come to my training, come to a mastermind. We have a group of students that are at the same level of you and they are able to help you with that as well. So let me get some few questions before I move on. When testing product, do you use KOSL ad or analyze model roller or single image roller and as that? So let me tell you, whether you are using multiple products using single image or KOSL ad, it depends on your niche. Depend on your niche and depend on your anna card. Okay, depend on your niche and depends on your anna card. What I mean by I there's no fixed answer. I have some I have, I have students that want in the same cat niche. Some of them work really, really well with single image on Facebook feed only. Some of them work really, really well on face on news uh, Instagram feed only, even they are in the same niche. But because of the pixel, all the difference. I have a student doing fashion store. Single image never work for him. Only carousel ad only work for him, and only work on Instagram, not Facebook. See, it really, really depends on your ad account. Think about your ad account like a human being, like a baby, like a kid. This baby only love playing piano. You cannot force him to play drum, right? So you based on if he love piano, you ask him to play more piano. The same, your ad account, every ad account will have their own characteristic. You need to learn. Learn by testing. Oh, let me try single image. Let me try carousel. Let me try video. Let me try this and that. You found that your ad account only know how to find your buyer with the video ad. Then you focus on video ad. So that's no fake answer for it. Unless you have enough budget to force him or force this ad account to only find your purchase on image ad. Then it will work on image ad. So that's why at the end of the game with Facebook is about how you can make friends with your ad account. If you become friend with your ad account, you let him do the work for you, then it will be really easy for you. Don't push too hard by forcing something that not to work to work. Do you recommend creating look alike audience by selecting best data times by another by better and eventually do this work for a new pixel or new screen hall? So you need, when you need to create look alike, you need to have at least 100 visitor. 100 visitor minimum in order to create a high quality look alike. So you can still create look alike. But it will be just high quality or low quality look alike. The more data, the better. So I cannot tell you what's the best number for you to do. I can create look alike with like 100 purchases. I can do with like 10,000 purchases. And the result can be so different. So it's all about testing. You think it will work, then you can try to create it and test it first. Just put like $10, $20 there. No sell, then you pause it. Wait for another few months. When you have enough data, then you create a look alike again and test it again. Okay, you cannot work in the first when you create it. Look alike is just a myth, kind of. Yeah, you find more lookalike audience, but at the same time, you also limit the audience size. This one percent is so small. If you run a local market, like for Hong Kong, six million people, one percent is just sixty thousand people. Sixty thousand people is so small, so small for us. Sixty thousand people, I can just maybe I just put like a one hundred dollar budget within one week. Everyone gonna see my ad already. Done. End of the end of my ad. Right. So that's the problem. Right. Just now you said ad level, we create a post so the ad will have no button. Means the post will show in the page, no. Just do it, try yourself. You create a post on the ad level, it will just what we call unpublished post. It will not publish on your page. That's how you will know it. Even though it show it on the page, it doesn't matter, right? Because your page have nothing there. Help you to boost the engagement as well. But it will not show on the page. It will not show you on the page unless you that's a button set. Do you want to publish on the page or not? You say yes, then you will push it on the page. If you didn't select that button, it will not show on your official page. When you're getting purchases across the asset, but not enough to hit 50 conversion even in one week, and your asset in the link to the page, do you engage? No, I will not increase the budget unless unless the engage unless the ROI is good. I will not scale up any asset unless the asset is working. Because optimization happening on the ad set level. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Optimization happening on the ad set level. So that means if your asset is not doing good, even you put more budget there, he cannot find you the buyer. Because ad optimization happening on the history of data. If this asset gives you no sales, that means he can only optimize based on no sales data. Then how can you buy more sales? If does that mean you launch 10 assets, even you're using the same targeting? 
in this 10 asset, one of them got sales, then you can optimize this one to increase more budget. For the other nine, no sales, I will pause it. Because this nine have no data. This one got data, I will scale up this one. So I will not push the asset to scale up unless it's giving you good signal that it's giving you good sales. Right? Right? Is it true that one ad account can perform better than the other? Yup. Yup. Some ad, so you, let's say you have five ad account. Some ad account will perform better than other ad account. You need to test it. Because, okay. I know this is advanced. Uh, just one last, one, one last topic for you guys for this, this topics. I'm going to go for my dinner. All right. So, optimization. Okay, optimization happening first, first, so you know you have your pixel, right? And then you have your what? You have your ad account. Okay, ad account. And then you have what? You have your campaign. And then you have what? Your asset. And this is how the ad optimized. First, your ad optimized based on asset. Because this is where you drive the data. If good data in the asset, your asset is going to perform good. Right? And if you're using CBO, the campaign budget optimization, then the data within the asset will share across the campaign. So that means one asset got good sales, the other ad on the same campaign, if you're using CBO, we also have improved results. That's why asset and then campaign. Okay, then if your overall campaign is doing good, gonna feed the data to your all ad account as well. That means the same campaign inside the same ad account will also use the data in other campaign. Then at the end, the data will send it back to the pixel. So the optimization is not on the pixel. It's on the ad and then campaign and then ad account and then pixel. That's the thing you guys need to learn. So that's why even I share my Facebook ad pixel to you guys, doesn't mean you're gonna get sales because the optimization happened again on the asset. You're gonna use some data on the pixel, but at the end, it was just based on the result. Right? Because this data is the latest. This is like today, tomorrow, right? Every second you're sending data to this to this asset. The campaign is like combined, right? It refresh every seven days. Right? And the ad account is over ad account. Right? At the end, it's using the pixel. The pixel is just a library to collect data. It's, there's no optimization on the pixel. It's just a library. And the asset is your man. The machine to help you to run the ad. The machine is more important than the library. Okay, and that's how you should optimize. That's why when I ask you guys, you optimize for purchase. You keep set enough data to your asset. You have enough data in your asset, then you have enough data on the, on the account. Then your ad account, you're going to have different performance as well. So that's why different ad account will have different results because there's different data. In your edit card. All right. If you don't know which person come on which asset, you need to set up the uh, UTM. The UTM, just search UTM on our group. We have a we have a training on that one how to set up the UTM. Scaling up, it means, yeah, kind of like increasing budget. Or, and, and there's so many ways in terms of scaling up. There's just too many ways, okay? I cannot cover that much really. There's like scaling up with increasing budget, scaling up with duplicating ad, scaling up by testing different gender, different, different, different inches, scaling up by testing different video, right? As long as you're increasing the budget, it's kind of like scaling up. But you need to know the system. When should I? testing more interest. Where should I increase the budget? Where should I uh, reduce the budget? The whole system I cannot cover in, in the free training, but it's all inside of the paid training. So that's the reason why I don't, I don't want to go too long in this kind of, It's so advanced. It can be like six hours training on that one. How do you find product to test in your niche store? Oh my God, these guys must be not never watch my five day training. So if you're new, if you're new, he's drawn a five day training. Let me send you the link here in the group. So if you are new, okay, if you guys are new, you please at least join a five day training here. Okay, it's like actually six day. 
six day of training covering how you can find product, how you can use organic traffic, how can you automate your store, and and you can see all the review here as well. It's just like a one month ago. Right? It's free, it's best e-commerce training there. Eddie is here, Fiona is here, right? And then you can also see the, the student result here as well. And you, you scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see all the comments as well that people are leaving. So we recommend you understand the basic first by joining this five day training. So kind of know my teaching style. Okay, if you understand my teaching style, then you can think about whether you're joining my pay course or not, right? Because if you don't know me, it's so hard for you guys to learn from me. Okay, so this, this is how I teach, right? So different people are gonna have different learning curve and it really, really depends on the coach. If you found a coach that you really, really love it, whether it's Warren Buffett, whether it's Elon Musk, whether it's someone, okay, stick with him and copy everything. Don't learn one from this coach, another one from another coach, another one from another coach. You will fail. There's different coach have different style. You will not learn from this guy who played basketball, even in basketball, there's like five positions, right? Put you in the center, the point, the pointer, right? All these things. Even football, 11 positions. The same on e-commerce. In e-commerce, there's like thousands of ways to run e-commerce store. Pick one coach, learn the whole system, and then before you label up. Don't pick like breadcrumbs, biscuits, or pieces for other different things, and then combine together, you just become Frankenstein. You know Frankenstein? Right? You have two brains, four lungs, five hearts, right? And then the hand in one hand is, is broken, one hand has some, something there. That's who you are. If you guys learn like that, right? So, if you believe that I can help you, stick with my training. Ignore all the other gurus. Learn my system first. This can give you the best result. Alright? So, I think that's it. For today's sharing. So before I go, I want to see tons and tons of the comments. If you really, really appreciate what we have done in today's training, today's sharing, and you enjoy what we have done here, give me some 777 type things, whatever things that you can appreciate the training here. And I want you guys to watch all our previous training. To watch the previous training is really, really simple. Very, very, very simple. Okay. You just go to the go to our site, learn.yncacademy.com. Okay, learn www.ynzacademy.com and then uh, let me log out first and then there's something called the YNC Ecom Club free certificate e-commerce training okay all you need to do just click view course sign up is free it's free inside you're going to have all the training including how to do product research we have like 10 hours training on how to do how we do product research we have the Facebook ad strategy right like nearly 10 video here we also cover how to set up your store. We set up how to do your marketing strategy, like how to use influencer, all that other stuff, right? Store operation. So this is just a free training. But the problem is, it may not be that systemized because you may not know which one to start. If you want to know, hey, yeah, there's too many training there. I want to have the best one. Then talk to me. We're going to give you the step-by-step the step -step one. Because here, we just touch the surface. It's not like in-depth, exactly how to set it up. But you are someone that won't know the concept, then this is a really, really good training for you to begin. And, but you want to know exactly how to do what's the next what's next next six 20 99 step then talk to me right so it's all free here for you guys to access all i ask you guys for is please maybe you have some friend want to learn e-commerce invite him to this group okay ask him to watch the five-day training and make sure that there's actually someone here to really really want you guys to know starting e-commerce is the main things it's the main trend that you guys have to know to create your nine to five is really the best best way to do it right so that's it. That's it for today's training. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I see a lot of 777. Uh, I see a lot of private sharing. So thank you. Thank you everyone that you are staying with me. There's like 60 people until now. I really, really appreciate your time. Okay. Good luck to your e-commerce journey. And see you guys uh, inside the mastermind, inside our paid group. And tomorrow will be the entrepreneurs class as well. For those who are entrepreneurs training, tomorrow we're going to cover the stock market. Okay. So see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Good luck. Okay. And, and yeah, seven, seven, seven. All right, bye-bye.